Hey guys, um, on this quest, Rebels Karen, we're gonna be, uh, this is a list of all the stuff you're probably gonna get, or pick up along the way. Um, Daedric War Axe, that's the main thing. Um, a few glass war axes, a bunch of money, some good stuff. If you wanna pause, you can check that out later. And I'm just showing you where, uh, where this place is. It's, uh, to the east of Whiterun, and it's in a cave, and it's not too hard to find. So, I came in here, originally. Uh, just because I got bored, so I just started exploring like most people do. And I came in here and, uh, most of the time you don't run into a problem with little caves. But this one, there's a bit more of a story to. See, there's this little podium shining in the holy light. And I have a lot of weapons, and none of them fit that, so, okay, whatever. So eventually, well, this is my second time through, so I kept shooting at that door. That's eventually where you go. And you'd think, oh, let's let's check that guy and then go back. Nope, no good. So, what you're going to do is you are going to run back outside. And I did this by accident. I just got mad and I was just like, forget it, I'll just leave. And then I see something on my map and I just head towards it. And uh, I think I fast-forwarded this a little bit so we can just get through it. But, um... It's over there, and it's some, uh, what are those people? Forsworn? Forsworn people? And they have some secrets and some good stuff that you want to take from them. So, we're just gonna head over there. You gotta pretty much wipe out their whole village. They're they're not friendly people. They're, they're ho very hostile. <laughs> Look at this guy. I think right here. Yeah, he, I'm just like, yeah, I'll get him. No, swoop. No, I don't think so. But, you know, no harsh feelings, because he's dead now. And, you know, you don't want to make fun of dead people. That's, that's, that's low class, man. We, you gotta keep it classy. Alright, so we're getting close to finishing up these people. And... For all the haters, I know, armor's not the best. It just happens to be enchanted with all the archery things, so as of now, I'm not changing it. And I know, the arrows are crappy, the bow's amazing. Whatever, I don't want to waste my Daedric bows on these people. I, I, I save that for the, for the good people, you know. The king, big king boss up here. You know, it takes like two shots, but the big thing, boss. If you can't see me, I'm doing air quotes. If you can't see me, you you have problems. Right? Right? Yeah, there he's, he's sitting down. I wait for him to get up, you know, just, just to be courteous so we can have a Spartan battle to the death type thing. And he runs for me, and I get him in a few shots. And he's done. And the first time, I just ran up here. And I was like, nope, no, that, there's no reason for that to be a master. So he has a key. So I take the key, and I eat that. And yeah, those are the two glass things that you can get. They're pretty good for depending on what level you are. But if I were you, I'd just, I'd take them and sell them, I guess. But wait for the Daedric sword. So it says to find red something sword, and that's red equals fury. And so you take that, and then I'm like, huh, all right. Maybe that, maybe that, uh, cave, cavern, rebel thing might actually be some success. So, I make my way back through this building, up and around, and actually the Daedric Sword isn't found in, um, it isn't found in that cavern. That cavern has some gold and some other decent stuff, I think, once we get to it, I'll, I'll know, but, um, really wasn't, the Daedric Sword wasn't found in there. It was found in a novice chest across this bridge, I, I think. And it's super, like, you know, they never put good, decent stuff in novice chests, but, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Find some more of these, that'd be nice. Don't have to spend an hour picking a master lock or buying a potion. So, this is the holy chest. I think I got it in one shot. Boom. Nope. Two shots. There we go. And, voila. Daedric War Axe. Very shiny. And by shiny, I mean red. And by red, I mean 
killing everything, pretty much. Oh, yeah, and who builds a tower and doesn't have a little... Doesn't have a safe up there? Who does that? The game developer's like, Alright, I'm gonna put them in most of them, but, like, in a few, I'm not gonna put them, so... Ooh, Grand Soldier. So, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just completely mess with them. True shot, door, and now we're heading out. And it's just a quick jog back over to the cavern. <gasps> By jog, I mean whirlwind sprint. And we're almost there. Almost there. We're getting there. Pretty close. Any second now. Oh, yeah. Is this a King Arthur thing? You know, the sword, the sword in the stone? Because there's a sword in the stone outside, and then inside there's like a sword in like a pedestal. So maybe it's some Skyrim sword super conspiracy. But uh, we'll leave that up to the to the government and or Skyrim officials to maintain their super conspiracy. So you see a little dot, and bam, voila! A little bit a little bit of camera shake, and the door opens. And I'm like, oh yeah, I'll just take it. Nope, no you won't. All right, fine. More camera shake. <laughs> Sound like epic meal time up here. And we're cruising. Just hanging out. And then I'm like, oh, gotta be sneaky. Alright, okay. Pop around that corner, don't wanna don't wanna be uh don't wanna get too crazy. Just jumping in here. Probably like super daedric soldiers or something. But no, it's just those stupid skeleton things and they're easy to kill. But I learned, if you kill the main honcho guy first, the skeletons will just die. So it's very helpful just to snipe him. Boom. Headshot. Three times damage. Is that what that said? I thought it was only two. Oh yeah, I use it. I use a Daedric arrow. Oop. Wah bam Get thrown back. Alright, there we go. Get my two arrows back. Gold. Like four sworn arrows. And that sword, I mean, it's decent, but it really, really isn't that great. I don't know. Like, they made this whole quest thing, and they give you a Daedric War Axe, and then you get to this awesome place, and you're like, um, where's, where's my cool stuff? But, you know, I guess all the cool stuff you got on the journey, not the destination. There's a, uh, there's a chest back there, and I believe... Come on, go to the chest. No, 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 go left. Go left. Yeah, there you go. There's some health potions, and there's cash in there. By cash, I mean gold. Ah, oh, food crate. Uh, yeah, that thing's good. Soul gem, soul trap, something. I don't know. Alright. And I think that's it. All that I can remember. Oh yeah, and I, I I go for a mini explore over here. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. There's a there's a skeleton, and he's a he's doing the running man up here. Hold up. I, I am so thrown off by this skeleton. I just had to I had to keep recording. Look at this guy. What a boss. Just keep spinning. <laughs> All right. Well, if you like the video, drop it a like. Uh, if you want more stuff like this, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. If you guys have any suggestions for anything you want me to do or get or any weapon that you guys need or think would be useful drop it in the comments and i will try my best to find it for you and make a nice video and if you like how how this was set up let me know and thanks a lot this has been tyler's for the wind tips later